the dinosaurs about Arlo and Spot on this incredible journey out in the wilderness. We need to get home. And in order to bring reality to that world and the frontier, we needed to go on our own journey first. We knew it was going to be set in the West, so the art department and story team did a research trip to that area. It was awe-inspiring how huge those landscapes were, and so what a perfect place to make a dinosaur feel tiny. Where's home? We wanted to have the feeling of being lost, like Arlo and Spot, so we went on a horseback ride up into the Grand Tetons. At one point, Arlo falls into the river, so we went on a river rafting trip to feel what it would be like to go down a rapid. Let's go! Yeah! And then we went to a cattle ranch to do some herding. Because we were in big sky country, you feel like you can see forever. We needed to think about how we were gonna do clouds. In the past, the matte paint department used to paint clouds by hand. They would look beautiful, but we couldn't make them move very easily. A big part of the dinosaur was to figure out a way to make sure that our clouds could move. We wanted to give nature a feeling that it's breathing, that it's alive. So we had the idea, let's try to do all 3D volumetric clouds. We built a completely new tool set. The clouds exist in 3D space, and so they feel a lot more real. They move when the wind picks up, and when the storms pick up, they'll evolve. The environments are incredibly immersive and beautiful because they were made by people that poured their heart and soul into it. This is one of the most visually stunning films that Pixar's done, and the skies are just a beautiful part of it.